I think people were honored that, we, that the bishop designated us as, as one of the churches to have that door. Yeah. The Holy Door is an idea that comes from Rome, you know, and, the, and St. Peter's. There's a door there that's, that's only open for a year during these jubilee years. It's the Holy Door. The rest of the time it's bricked up. But the idea of, of Pope Francis, and I think probably Benedict somewhat before him, was that, this again, we want to universalize these things. People can't get to Rome. You know, they can hear about it, but the idea would be that they could uh, have the same experience of a holy door. And the idea is that you walk through the holy door with it in the hopes of finding finding a new beginning in, in the greatness of God's mercy. You know, that's kind of the basic idea of it. A, a jubilee year goes all the way back to the ancient Israelites who every 25 years freed all the slaves and cleared all the land and kind of started over over again. You know, it's a, this idea of jubilee. It's an ancient, an ancient one in Judeo-Christian faith. And it, carried on uh, today. When I came, I discussed it with my parish council to, to show the significance of the Holy Door. We've actually erected four um, TP lodge poles back there. They're the, they're the actual size of a, of a lodge and 16 foot poles back there. Because for the Lakota people, the lodge is a sacred place, whether it's a place where the family lived or if it was a council lodge or a place where the Shingon lived, whatever. And, it, and the poles represent the connection between the earth and the heavens. And so it's always a sense of going up to the great spirit, to God. And so we've tried to bring some of those things here to help make the faith seem more relevant.